Mar Yvette, meanwhile, has something tasty for us coming up. Hey, Mar. Hey, Tony. You know, you may have had barbecue before, but you've never had it on the back lot of the Jimmy Kimmel Show. Stick around. We're firing things up with some serious barbecue. For uh, 6.45 is the time. So you guys have heard of pop-up shops. Usually they're filled with clothing, accessories, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but Mari Vets got a pop-up that will get your mouth watering. She's in Hollywood, and I think I heard the word barbecue. That was good enough for me, Mar. Good morning to you. <laughs> Tony and Aroxia, you know what I thought? Dang, I should have sent some barbecue to the studio for you this morning. I am here. Let me tell you, this is a barbecue experience like no other. I'm talking about serious barbecue. And when you say serious barbecue, it is serious business. Now, this is Adam Lang Perry. Adam Perry Lang. Adam Perry Lang. I knew I was yeah. going to screw it up at some point. Now, Adam, we're here in the back lot of Jimmy Kimmel, the Jimmy Kimmel Show. Yep. And this is what you're doing for the summer. That's it. Okay, Two check months. it out. Yep. Now, he's got his own smoker. You make your own charcoal. This place oh, yeah. is out of control. Um, by the way, shout out to my friends here. This is Fiddle and Pine, LA's indie bluegrass band. We love these guys. Now, how long does it take to do something like this, Adam? I'm about uh, six hours. Now, what makes your, your barbecue so special? Because you're really hardcore. No, don't give me a... <laughs> um, it's really simple. It's attention to the details, you know, just really just... Uh... Pull one out. Let's, let's, let's get that slab of beef right here on the table. You don't mess around. Look at this now you've been you you make your charcoal at four in the morning we start at one in the morning one and in we, the morning. we get pe pecan wood we burn it down let's see slice it all up. right i'm really trying to get uh tony excited here by the way can you take a look at this knife you made this yep now tell us I'm a little into all types of craft and artisanship Check so this out. Show, show the camera <laughs> wow that's serious Don't barbecue that's serious right <laughs> I like this you guys he, he even has an anvil behind us this place it's crazy so we're gonna right. we're gonna take a tour a little later on and he's also doing some really great things for our community including feeding the homeless every Friday so Aww. you know there, there's a whole lot going on here good deal all right looks Mari, like a that, good time so thank it. you and that barbecue looked really good I know. Really yeah. good. Can I Not tell water. you guys, yeah. my, my went yes. back when I was working on Good Day in New York, yeah. my role was more like Mars, where I would go out and have to create these parties at like 5 and 6 a.m. It's a hard gig. She makes it look so easy, right? Yeah. 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 Props yeah. to Mars. She like wherever she goes, there's a party, and we forget how <laughs> early it is in the morning, and she makes it seem like middle of the afternoon. The food helps. Mm -hmm. The food definitely <laughs> it's helps. It's called the uh, Serious Barbecue Pop-Up Experience. Because it's serious. This is serious barbecue. In the heart of Hollywood, huh? Who's there? Mars there, of okay. course. And she's got her cowgirl hat on. Oh, yeah. You know what? She's thinking I'd be a fool to let you go. And you'd be a fool not to try this cue. Steve and Maria, we are here. Check out Fiddle and Pine, Indy's indie bluegrass band right here. Now, the reason we're here, it's Adam Lang. Perry Lang's serious barbecue experience. This is unlike any other barbecue experience you've had. You're the real deal. You've got your anvil. You make your own knives. Yes, yes, love it. This guy is a man, man. We've got Robert over there stoking the coals, throwing in the pecan wood. Now I want to give you guys a little bit of tour, a little tour of this space. Now, Adam, you open this up in July. It's a pop-up experience, meaning it's not permanent. You're only here till September 5th. And how the heck did you get? the back lot of Jimmy Kimmel's show. Jimmy's a great friend, and we met when I did a show in about 2009, and uh, he invited me to come in. So, because you're, you're a well-known chef. I mean, you've had restaurants all over the world. Yes. You're not just some dude off the street. Check out that photo right there. You see, that was you and Jimmy, what? Why uh, that was, no, that was over Christmas. Oh my gosh, you are out of control. Yeah. Now, Serious Barbecue, you're only open 11 to 3, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So this is really kind of the, one of those underground finds. 25% of everything we cook goes to a different homeless shelter around town. I love that. Now, you're not typically open on Fridays, but you are here every Friday because you are cooking up food for the homeless. You go to the L.A. The, the L.A. Mission. We actually go down there physically on Friday, but the other days we just actually, they pick it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, Steve, you have to check this out. Adam made this himself. This is really heavy. This is like what? Pre, very, very pre, good. Pre, pre World War II red oak. Yeah, yeah, I like that. No, it's uh, it's uh, old growth walnut from France. Yeah. Let's drop into this right yeah, here. You this got is your it. famous you dish. What it. is this? The short rib? Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. really simple too. I mean, it's it's straight up like 
um, four seasonings. It's just salt, pepper. How did the dude from New York, with all this French technique, you know, schooling, get into barbecue? It's a great question. I think when the whole world within my uh, with my set started getting very automated, I got into natural forms of cooking, and I fell in love with barbecue, and I just hit it. And everybody, I mean, you know, white collar, blue collar. You name it, people just it's love cute. It's the most universal form of cuisine there is. You know, they'll be sitting right next to each other and having a conversation. It's amazing. Check this out, you guys. Look over there real quick. See that Airstream? That's also not just for show. Adam lives there. He lives here three days a week when he's open. Three days a week. So we have more barbecue, more bluegrass, and maybe a little booze coming up next. Adam, thank you so much. This is the coolest thing ever. Check we it out. Down by the That's river. not just some dude off the street. You no. heard that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Ben. Thank fair, you, Mark. Though, we can't eat it.